Hello and welcome to St. Louis Park, Minnesota and the new 8-stall version 3 supercharger. This is a 250 kilowatt supercharger and nearby there are four charge point plugs on two pedestals. Although this station is right off Highway 100, it's a little funky to find because you have to kind of come down a frontage road and then around a corner and then it's a quick left into the parking lot. This charger is also right in the entryway. So although it's tucked out of the way from the main target entrance, it is right in the path if you're coming from the highway. It's also not too far from the target loading dock. So since I've been here, I've seen one truck drive by. It just means that you're gonna have to be really aware when backing in and pulling out, or you know, if you're traveling with kids, getting them in and out without running into traffic because the traffic is right there. Now I'm here on a weekday morning, so it's not a huge issue right now, but I can definitely see on a busy shopping weekend that it could be really hectic trying to back in with cars coming in off the highway and backing things up. So it loses some points there. The Target is small, but it's clean and well stocked and has a Starbucks inside. Across the road, there's a Lunds and Byerly's grocery store. So a little bit nearby, but not a ton. Just south of here is Excelsior Boulevard, which is one of the main roads you cross as you're coming through the frontage road. So if you needed food, there's a McDonald's and a Chipotle there, but no real restaurants right nearby. I see this as a really good stop if you're just passing through or getting groceries, but it's not gonna be a great hangout spot. There are, don't seem to be a lot of parks around. It's mostly just metro stuff, apartments and things like that. Between the chargers and the loading dock, there is some green space. So if you needed to have a pet relief area or wanted to have a picnic, there are some benches and a picnic table over there. So that would be a possibility. It's near a loading dock, but at least in the morning, it's gonna get plenty of sun and could be pleasant. At night, there probably wouldn't be much to do. So grab something on your way, a snack or, or food on your way here. Because the Target would close overnight, you might need to find a restroom on your way here at a convenience store or something that's open. So just bear that in mind. Now an interesting thing just happened where someone was coming out of this area here and taking kind of a wide turn as someone else was entering through the entryway to the Target. And as that happened, she pulled in all the way almost to the yellow lines in front of the chargers. So I can see that again being a major point of um, congestion when the parking lot is busier. If this supercharger is completely full, there won't be that room for maneuverability for other drivers. I can see that as being a major point of frustration not only for the Tesla owners, but the Target patrons. And because of that, I don't think this is a great spot for pushing the future of electric vehicles because it could easily be seen as a point of community annoyance, unfortunately. Another thing I almost forgot to mention is there is a pull-in spot here, but if you're carrying a trailer, this is not the charger to stop at. There would be absolutely no room for a vehicle with a trailer. So although you can pull in this way, you would have to drop the trailer somewhere else in the parking lot. I know this is kind of the standard design now, but not really well thought out specifically for this location. So be very aware of that if you're headed up to the lake with a boat or a trailer of some kind, it could be pretty inconvenient to be in this spot. But keeping in mind that the chargers are right in the entryway and there aren't a lot of food options around, I'd only give this charger a 5 out of 10, even though it is a fast charger and in the parking lot of a Target. In the nighttime, I'd bump that down to a 4. But on the upside, it's great to have more fast chargers in the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area. So happy road tripping, and thanks for watching.